Hey, what is going on YouTube universe? Welcome to another episode of Auction Life. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What we do is we go to auctions, estate sales, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets. We buy storage units. We do clean outs, which we haven't done in a while. We, we should probably start looking for some of them. But all in the hopes to find something we can resell. Um either locally or via marketplace or on eBay or Poshmark or Mercari or whatever. I, I'm babbling already. Um, or that I just think it's kind of cool and I want to keep for myself. So today we are at a consignment auction for the same auction company that does the tailgate auctions, which is next week. Um, I'm going to have my editor, if she would be so kind, as to put his website in the link check out his website um, if you're in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania and you're looking for an auctioneer he might be your guy you give him a shout you know tell him you saw us on auction you saw him on auction life and today we're gonna do a little footage of the actual auction itself so I got here nice and early and we're gonna go take a walk around see what we can find let's go check it out Not many box lots today. Nice new ladder. Here. Oh, their tape moved. It's a little breezy out, so we'll put the tape back on here. Got some dishware. Oh, here's some jewelry. A little bit of costume jewelry. Even the boxes are cool. Not bad. There's a uh, green Pyrex bowl from the primary set. It's pretty neat. If anybody's familiar with the Pennsylvania area, there's an, the noise in the trees that you hear is the cicadas. It's like that time of year. Maybe I'll get you a little footage of some of those if I see them. Oh, these are all McDonald's toys. The little, uh, what were they? Furbies. Ooh, I like this box. Old vintage handheld electronics. Now, these do have some value. Unfortunately, the cases aren't on the back of them. Sometimes they're a little. I had all these when I was a kid. My gosh. I remember playing this one for hours. You slide the controller from lane to lane. That's a memory right there. Mr. Stacks, this is way before your time, sir. Some toys. Wooden toys. Blocks and Legos. There's a little mismatch box there. This, I like this table. Some more handheld games. These I think are newer. Yep, these are newer, I think. Oh, there's some older ones in here. Oh. See that? Cool. Let's go take a look at some of the furniture. Now, the difference between a estate sale and a consignment sale is an estate sale basically is one person's house where they have it nine times out of ten it's on site and they have it where it's just that person. A consignment sale is a whole bunch of different people give their stuff to, to go to auction at the same time so there's different lots. Oh, I know somebody's going to want that. little piece now the good thing about I call this auction furniture because this is stuff that people with just about any size car can purchase like you can put this in the back of a Honda you know like you can put this in just about anything 
besides a convertible two-seater so these send, tend to do pretty well that is pretty cool it's not very old but it's well made very interesting piece nice little desk that's got a little age to it another blow mold all right let's go inside let's go check it out all right there's our cicadas i don't know if anybody can see that they get pretty big and they're everywhere you can see they come out of their shells every few years they're everywhere this is nothing i mean this is just what's on this little post but as you can see they kind of come out of their shells they're extremely loud and they're extremely creepy and when they land on you they don't bite and they don't sting but they are just kind of annoying you can see that they're all over the ground they're everywhere the shells everywhere creepy Well, because moisture, if moisture gets in, it will, yeah, so yeah. Some old box. Lego. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had one of these. Back in the day, there's all the games. Back in the day when Atari started, they had something called Intellivision. And that was supposed to be like the competition. And that's what my dad bought. So they don't sell these on no, no, no. Uh, you can't how do you know them. how much they... <gasps> Gunbroker.com and other websites. Yeah. You can check Midway. Uh, like Sports News Guys. Most of them are sold out. But you can get the, the retail price. Yeah. But, you know... Wow, those are cool. Put water in them. I remember those, too. We're doing... Yeah. Why not? That... Because... If it's within the price range of online, I'll buy it because I don't have to pay for shipping. Yeah, but if it's anything over, pictures are awesome. Yeah, I got a nice collection. This? Yeah. But now the quote unquote Lego ones there are just a letdown. Yeah. Okay. Well, the new ones, a lot of them yeah. you don't even have the pool anymore. You're doing it That's the whole fun. <laughs> yeah, that tactile sensation. Yeah. Sound yeah they don't do that at the casino anymore. Oh, they still have it, probably. Yeah, a couple of them, you know. Yeah, but they still, they're starting to go to the little ones that are, you know, I know yeah. what you mean. It's not the same, but. Hey, got another one like that. Another one like that. Oh, God. Well, get off me. Well, stop touching it and it'll get off you. Good morning, Donna. Hey, how's it going? Going good. Wonderful. You picked a beautiful day. I certainly did. Well, you know, it wasn't supposed to be nice, but I insisted. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is old school right there. These are originals, I believe. All right. Jason, I said hi. I will. And Freddie. They had a lot of toys. Most of them were roasted. Uh -huh. But there was a Barbie van. Yeah. And I spotted it, but it was kind of hard to get to. I'm like, Beth, we want that Barbie van. <laughs> she starts digging for the Barbie van. Tell her, go get it. Go get me that van. And all of a sudden, she stopped. These are really cool. I like these. Mr. Peanut. You got the boxes, which is nice. I 
feel old, Les. How's that? You have vintage video games from when I was a kid. <laughs> now they're vintage. <laughs> now they're vintage and I'm old. Who's going to be in that There's other YouTubers on there that will have no idea what that game is. <laughs> This stuff here is, is pre-war. These are nice trains. Look, a dollar four, that's what they paid for it when they bought it. Still got some of the stickers on them. That's that is so, these are so these are really cool. It's Fenton like. That's what you tell them, right? Yeah, that's it's Fenton like. Sometimes people will buy because they can't match. They can't find something, so they'll find something similar. Sure. Yeah, I don't but then again, Fenton. So I thought Fenton like was like their thing was like buffing the line out or something. No, that's probably later. Fenton because it's embossed. The, the original Fenton was a metallic label. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. So that might. But have been the later pieces, they went to embossing it on the glass, and they weren't so careful about buffing out the mold marks, and they didn't mark everything. Not everything was marked on the later pieces. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we got a while yet before the auction starts. We shall see. We shall see. I don't know if that's Casper, but anyway, it's a blow mold holding the pumpkin. How about five dollars on the blow mold? Five dollars I had, not seven and a half, not ten. Not twelve and a half, not fifteen. Seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty anywhere? Right there. there. Seventeen fifty, not twenty. Twenty, not twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty, not twenty-five. Twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty anywhere? 2750 I had now 30. 30 bitter on 30. 30 I had now 3250. 35. 35, 35, anywhere 35. 3250. Sold number one, four, three. Sold. Got a deal. Nice little desk here. Little child desk, I guess. Nice little piece. That's your size. Ain't it up? <laughs> I, I used to say in another life, ain't it white? Take it to Jake. Somebody will buy it. What number 145? This little red desk here. How about ten dollars on that? Ten, ten, bit around ten, bit around ten. Anywhere ten, I'll take five. Five, five, bit around five. Anywhere five, two and a half. Two and a half. Nobody likes it. Two and a half, two and a half. Anywhere two and a half. Two dollars. Two dollars. Wow. Okay. Pass. Okay. Got a nice little industrial stool here. All right. Architectural. 140, is that? Yep. Yep, yep. 140 on a little metal stool. About $5. Five, five, around five, but around five, anywhere on five. Five, I had that seven and a half. Seven and a half, seven and a half, anywhere seven and a half. Sold five dollars, number 203. Five number 203. Okay. I'll handle this one. All, All right. right. This is right my speed. On 141. Nice, nice uh, coat rack. Not terribly old, but it's sturdy. Nice piece. <clears throat> on the oak coat rack. Ten dollars on that. Ten dollars, ten, ten, but around ten, I'll take five. Five, five, but around five, but around five, anywhere five, two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half, anywhere two and a half. Two and a half, two dollars. Two dollars I have now, four. Four, but around four, but around four, anywhere four. Sold two dollars number. 
the 152. 152. Oh, wait a minute. We've got a dispute. I thought I had the lady behind you. I oh, I'm sorry. Let's, let's go again. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where was I? Lady. The games are on the bottom. I don't think the games are all for that. I think some of them are actually okay. Atari games. Well, sell the remainder of the All right. Well, that was fun. Had a good day at the auction. Picked up a couple things. Uh, nothing too crazy. You did see there was some footage of that in there. Uh, I want to thank Les and his auction company for having us out today. It was. I've known Les for quite a while. He's a really good auctioneer. And like I said earlier, I'm going to have my lovely editor put his link in the description check out his auction company um yeah he could be the guy so here's what we picked up we picked up this little lot here of a couple of cool little alarm clocks that one i thought when i saw the box help being held up that it was coca-cola but it's not but it's got those colors to it this is a little um travel alarm clock I like it because it's got the fluorescent green numbers on it I thought that was pretty neat oh that made that made me think of a dad joke I'm gonna use that dad joke today this one here is actually from October 1989 it was Met Metropolitan Edison Company which is Med Ed which is our local uh, power company gave these out I guess for so many safety work hours kind of cool picked up a few models this one it kind of looks like the person started building it all the parts look like they're in there but you can see they kind of started putting it together this isn't why I bought it they all came together I spent $34 total just as an FYI this one is from Top Gun this might actually have the paints and stuff in there too i'm not sure because it is from a te it's a tester's kit and sometimes they put the paint the paint in there that because it feels really heavy and then you have this one this one is a catapult with a jake that's pretty neat this is actually made in japan so this one looks like it's really never been out of the box Looks like all the parts are still there. Thought that was pretty neat. These are good because you can actually I can actually ship this one relatively cheaply. Um, I bought the remainder of a table for a dollar. Stole a page out of another YouTuber's book. And this was in there. So what I did was I threw everything inside the box inside the nice big suitcase uh oh I think I have it upside down oh I'm sure I do all right I had it right side the other way oh sorry for that crazy camera work this has oh that broke dang it it was cracked before but a little pineapple piece this looks like some sort of pill holder, maybe? I don't know. What's it say on there? Lead crystal. There is a cookie press and decorator kit that's complete. Um, a cake breaker, whatever a cake breaker's for. This says $3 on it. New, $3. This is a Wonder Weave. There you go. Wonder Weave. 
cool, different. Got some crystal, crystal clear legacy candle holders. Those are pretty. Nice. I like those. Those are worth the buck. And this is a Samsonite case. So, all that for a dollar. Some of that will actually end up at the tailgate coming up next. Now, this takes me back. These are cool. These I did a little research on while I was there. And these are old handheld games back from when I was a kid. I remember going to a campground with my parents and you would there's no batteries in it obviously you would start you'd start in low gear and these cars would fall down and your object was to steer clear of them and then it would tell you you had to shift up and then you could keep going and the faster gear you went the faster the cars came down so this is an old Mattel handheld game this is pretty cool um, so we got that one we have the little professor got that we got the old handheld Mattel electronics baseball I remember all of these when I was a kid well this one I don't know what this one is hit and missile that's kind of neat but these handheld games are getting harder and harder to find in such good condition now a lot of these are missing the backs which does hurt the value a little bit but having the backs off and if you notice the battery hasn't corroded anything that's going to lead me to believe that these things are probably all going to work so we got hockey we've got football we've got football one and two we've got basketball We've got Funtronic Jacks. Here is ice hockey, sports trivia game. This is like all the stuff you would have in a car when you went on a long trip. Backgammon, tic-tac-toe. And this one here is, I don't know what that one is. That one don't have any labels on it. I'd have to look that one up. But yeah, I, I think I spent the most money, which was like 20 or 22 dollars for this box so just real quickly i went on my phone and this one with the back in working order cleaned up a little bit i think i can get maybe 10 to 12 dollars just with this one so i think i did good um yeah so that's what we did today got to spend got to spend a, an interesting afternoon with some of my friends Seen some people I haven't seen in a while. Had a few laughs. Had some really good food. Got to watch a fun auction. So, want to thank everybody for checking us out. Um, yeah, I think that wraps about wraps it up. Except for my stupid dad joke. And my stupid dad joke, if you remember, was prompted by that. My stupid dad joke is this. What do you need to make alligator for supper? A crock pot, of course. See? Alligator skin. I know, I know. Gotta think of them. You gotta say them when you think of them. Alright, thanks for watching. Keep living that auction life. See you next time. Bye.